welcome to my Barbie collection video. This is going to be my collection of Barbies, friends and family from 1962 to 1989. Most of these are from the 80s and um, most of them are used that I have pieced back together from various, uh, how I say, junky lots that I have accumulated over the years. So let's start here. Here we have, this. these two are 1962 straight leg midges. And you can see the brunette one is wearing a very ratty dress I have not been able to identify. Um, I will either get her a new dress sometime or make her one. And then here we have a Titian midge wearing um, a vintage gone fishing outfit. As you can see, the vintage outfits put uh, zippers in the actual outfit, so this does unzip. And she's in excellent condition. All she's missing is her shoes. And then this guy here is a straight or free moving Ken from 1974. He is wearing a fashion pack made this it's called a turtleneck dicky because it had to go with the with the outfit. And then next we have Superstar Ken who's also wearing a um, fashion pack from the era. He is uh, just jointed in the waist so I don't move him around too much otherwise he would break and I'd be devastated because there's just a rubber band kind of holding him in place. The fashion photo PJ she still has a ring if you can see there. And she's wearing um, a superstar fashion dress. And then next we have Sun Love and Mabu Barbie down here. These are the dolls with the tan lines. And this is Sun Love and Malibu Ken. And this is Sun Love and Malibu Skipper. Um, who I found an outfit for because she didn't come with her swimsuit. And then of course this is Kissing Barbie who somehow has her original outfit that I found just randomly in a bag of old clothes. Now I have two dolls from 1980. These are Golden Dreams Barbie and She's wearing a superstar fashion from 1978. She still has her original gold necklace. I made the earrings. And also from 1980 is Western Barbie, who and did not hold up well over the years. And from 1981, I have Sun Sensational Malibu Barbie. Not a big fan of the Malibu face. I prefer the Superstar face. Well, she's not wearing her original outfit, but there she is. 1982, we have Dream Date Barbie, who is not in her original outfit. This is an outfit from um, a 90s Fashion Avenue really wish I had her original outfit because I like this one a lot. Um, I did make her earrings. And from 1983, I have two dolls. I have Fashion Play Barbie, who is right there, wearing an outfit called Backyard Barbecue, I believe. And then this is Great Shape Ken. I did not have his original outfit, but I just found him this old tuxedo, which definitely is from the 70s. From 1984, we have Peaches and Cream Barbie. She still has her original ring, um, her original earrings. All she's missing is the orange um, ribbon that goes around her waist. I like her very much. Um, rocker number one from 1985. I have two of them. They are right there. One has. One has her complete outfit set for the shoes and the socks and one I just put together um, with a rocker shirt and a pink pair of pants. 
Um, I did make both earrings. Um, they have slightly different face paint. Uh, but that's okay. Oh, I also made bracelets for this one. And of course we have Rocker Diva. I got her with her complete outfit except for the shoes and the earrings and her hair had been boiled flat, boil washed flat. I tried to bring it back to life, but that's the best I could do. Um, I really wish I had a Rocker Dana that looked like the Rocker Barbie's hair because it was just so um, of the time. And then we have a Tropical Barbie here, who's in her original swimsuit. Um, she has a bent arms. I thought she was on a wrong body, but I do believe they made Tropical, Bar tropical Barbies with, with bent arms. We have two Magic Moves Barbies who are right here. Um, one is wearing a Dream Glow Barbies dress just because I had the dress, and one is wearing the original dress without the cape. They both do still work. Dream Glow Ken. Um, I have his part of his tuxedo with well, the way they do ten, Ken's tuxedo. They do one piece top and pants, but the top is sleeveless. So I think it looks kind of odd with the jacket, so I just put him in another tuxedo. Moving on to 1986, I have five dolls. Um, here we have Astronaut Barbie, who's a little out of place on the table, but that's okay. Um, I'm missing her helmet, but otherwise I think she is delightful. And then um, Rocker Barbie number two, who is right there, who I have two of. I'm missing her top, but I did find two pink Rocker Barbie shirts, which I think go with the first edition. I did make her earrings. Um, as replacements, I found some stars, and um, her face is very different. Um, these are two different factories who made these. And then Rocker Diva here is the second edition. She has big hair. I managed to find her with big hair and save it. All I do is wash it and it sprung back to life. I, of course, made her earrings. Um, she's missing her green um, tank top, so I just put this underneath it because um, this did not work very well without it. And then we have his rocker Ken from 1986. He has his outfit except for his shoes, which is okay. And um, I found the, the jacket from a different lot of clothes, which does not match his pants, but that's all right. And then. We have down here a My First Barbie wearing the pink um, swimsuit. I actually had her hair tie, but I thought it was junk and I threw it away. And then I realized it was actual hair tie, so lesson learned on that. 1987, Perfume Pretty Barbie. I do not have her original dress. This is a dress from the 90s that I borrowed. I think the wrap is original. And then, um, California Dream Barbie and California. Then we have California Dream Barbie and California Dream Ken. Two of my absolute favorites. If I had to pick one from my childhood other than the rockers that gave me fond memories, it would be these two because going to California was the dream in the 1980s. So I love them both. I think they're great. Um, I really wish that I could find the other dolls in the series and even find more of these themselves. And then next to her is Island Fun Barbie. I'm missing her original swimsuit, but I am impressed that I did manage to comb out her hair. It was a ratty mess. This is Barbie and the Sensations doll. She is supposed to be in a 1950s type of a uh, dress in like a girl group so it's like 1980 doing 50s retro and then the 1988 doll here we have this is feeling fun barbie i have almost her complete outfit except for the top which i did get at the dollar tree which i think works fine her hair is very um 
early Seinfeld, I think. And but she has her original earrings, which is always a plus, and the original um, little purse. And I have Cool Times Midge and Cool Times Ken. Uh, believe it or not, I have the Midge and not the Barbie, so I don't know how that happened, but. They are very much of the time also. If you look at Ken's outfit, it was the thing to go out with your friends, go get pizza. And um, Midge's hair, I managed to save it so it's actually like the original factory setting. Um, from 1985 to about 1995, hair was huge. You have Beach Blast. Barbie, who is here, she's just a swimsuit doll um, with crimped hair. Nothing to really say about that. Superstar Barbie here, who is amazing. I mean, look at this. I should move the other doll so you can see her um, grandiosity. She actually even has stars in her eyes. I think I'm gonna try to, you can see, focuses. I don't know if it'll focus. She's actually bought new, I got her in the box. 1989. So our first 1989 lady is All Stars Barbie. This one I actually did get from, um, in the box, the bag turns into a skirt. Um, she just has she just has sneakers on and two of them they're wet and wild Teresa's that one's in her swimsuit and then the other one I found um, an outfit that was very much of the time looks like something from Saved by the Bell this dance club Barbie I actually managed to save her hair she was one from a ratty lot I am pretty impressed that I did save the hair and she had her earrings. Wedding Fantasy Barbie. Now I am not much into wedding dolls, but this one was really lovely. And I do think that she had her skirt. She would be one I could put on display because she was just grandiose in the picture. But there she is. I hope you enjoyed my 1962 through 1989 Barbie collection and stay tuned for my 1990 through the present Barbie collection. And again, thank you for watching.